Okay, first we're going to need, I'm using oil paint, you can use acrylic, but we're going to need um, raw umber, white, this is green, though you probably can't tell, and um, I've got a uh, blue, this particular one is Prussian blue, but just green, blue, brown, and white, that's what you need color-wise. Um, you're going to need some paint thinner and a large brush and a large sponge. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to begin with the brown. Now, the brown will go along the outer edges. So, we'll just put a little here, kind of a, little, a bit more in the corner, just all along the way. Green. And we're going to put a bit stripe there, stripe there, a stripe there. The same thing with blue. Now we're going to do the white in the very middle. A chunk there, bigger chunk there, chunk there. Now take your paint thinner. I've got a bowl of it here. And I'm just going to get some like that. Take my brush, give it a little dip a kind of coat it really nice and thick. And then we're going to start with the brown. And we're just going to spread out that brown fairly evenly around the edges. I'm pretty liberal with the paint thinner because it just makes it easier. If you're using acrylic paint, you will use water instead of paint thinner. Alright, so with the brown and green, I'm going to do them together like this. Go around inside the line of brown that you did. Okay, now I'm going to kind of pull out the <coughs> blues and browns into the, or the blues and greens into the brown. Okay, you can see I've still got the residue of the paint on my brush and we're going to leave it there while we do the white. Okay, but for this one I'm just going to pour a little bit of paint thinner in the middle like that. And just pull the white through like this. Okay, now pull that white that you just did into the blue-green like you did before with the browns. I promise this will all make sense in the end. Now you want to work pretty quickly so that the paint doesn't dry and you're unable to use it. Here's where you take your sponge um, and you're going to start in the middle and you're just going to do swirls around like this. Okay, now we're going to want to smooth it out a little bit more. So, we're going to kind of dab and twist. All dab and twist. And there you have it. Now you have this beautiful, vibrant turquoise background. And there are a lot of things that you can do with it. Check out my other videos to, for ideas of what to paint on top of it. See you next time. Bye.